Good morning, guys. Welcome to Fishful Thinker. I'm Chad Lachance, and I appreciate you joining us in the boat with me right here, Mr. Troy Coburn, a former Bassmaster, former now trout master, recovering, brought recovering, brought him <laughs> to one of our absolute favorite places in the state to fish for trout. That's the Delaney State Wildlife Area in North Park, Colorado. We fish here all the time. You've never been here. I've never been here. We fish here a lot. Every year in fall, we come up here and fish because the brown trout fishing is fantastic. But guess what? We're here today to catch rainbow trout, if at all possible. We're gonna start with finesse jigs. We're gonna focus on the rainbows and not the browns, although I guarantee you we'll see a brown or two sure. before it's over with. No doubt. It's gonna be a fun show today. This is a brood lake for Colorado Parks and Wildlife. Every brown trout in the state eventually came from this lake or originally came from this lake as well. It's an important resource for the state, so stay tuned and get comfortable. This is gonna be a fun show. Fishful Thinker Television is brought to you by Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Peterson Toyota and Toyota Trucks, moving forward. St. Croix Rod, best rods on earth. Berkeley, catch more fish. Abu Garcia, for life. Camp Chef, the way to cook outdoors. And Colorado Parks and Wildlife. All right. <laughs> That's why we come to Delaney, guys, right there. That didn't take us very long at all. That fish bit twice, too. I jerked it on, I jerked it one time and, and he popped it and I, I was patient, patient. If you'd net this thing, Troy, I'd appreciate oh, yeah, that very can. much. And uh, we'll see if we can put him in the boat. And that's a pretty, and look at all the weeds he got. That's why we need to, we need to net him. And guys, we're here today targeting rainbows and that's why we're jigging. Whoa, buddy. No, buddy. <laughs> Get me out of trolling motor. <laughs> First thing in the morning. And, and we feel like that in all the times we've been to Delaney, Whoop, whoop, whoop. No, I whoop, just did whoop, a whoop. <laughs> I just, Did you guys see that? Did you see that? Whoop, whoop, whoop. But since he tied this beautiful jig that's now got me pinned to this beautiful rainbow. Holy Moses. There you go. Oh, no. It's okay. I remember the first time I netted a fish. <laughs> Troy Coburn, that's why you come to there North Delaney right there, guys. Hands are already wet and right off the bat. Nice. That's why you come to the Delaney State Wildlife Area right there, guys. And we're gonna be real quick about putting that one back. Look at that. Look how clear the water is. There you go, guys. We just did our show open a minute ago right there. That didn't take us very long. And uh, Troy Coburn right here, it's hard to keep him <laughs> focused for a minute. He just wants to fish, but a little jig right there. It's a little custom jig. Let me get it wet and you'll see what we're looking at here. Uh, that's my little marabou. Uh, heavy headed jig and it doesn't look like much right there guys when you put it in the water it looks really good got it on the nanofill six pound nanofill and six pound try and percent fluorocarbon leader and fish in three minutes and hooked up there you go. Uh, we've come here forever and we've always shown you the brown trout and the brown trout are the really important players in this whole game here the reason being is this lake right here, this North Delaney Lake, is used as basically the brood lake for brown trout all over the entire state of Colorado. So they come here, they net fish. They were here yesterday doing it. They net spawning browns. They artificially um, fertilize the eggs here in captivity, and then they put them in hatcheries around the state. That's important because the browns that are stocked all over the state come from this one lake. So it's really a lake that Parks and Wildlife takes good care of because it's a very, very important important lake to the to the fisheries in Colorado in general. Now, we always target the browns here because there's such a high number of them, but we decided on this trip that we're gonna focus on the rainbows because it's just something different. All right, Mr. Coburn, I'll get reeled in and I'm gonna get you netted here. Do you get a brown or a rainbow? Rainbow. There you go, guys, and that's our whole deal is we're targeting the bobos and you do that by throwing jigs. If I get a big giant bait out here, if I get a big old, you know, like a cutter 110 plus jerk bait or something fun like that, then what happens is you end up catching a whole bunch of browns right there. We got that one there. There you go, Troy. There you go. That's number two, guys, and the boat ramp's still right there. We didn't get very far. And uh, I'm gonna let you grab your jig here and show them that jig, Troy, because this, this is pretty slick. This is important because this is how we're able to target the rainbows instead of the browns that are really the dominant population in here. And you tie these yourself? Yep, I do. So how heavy is it? A lot it? of work into them. Um, Hold it real still. Th this one's in one eighth ounce. It's perfect for lake fishing. Uh, gets down to the bottom quickly. The little jigs, that's what gives us the ability to target the browns, versus, or target the rainbows, I should say, rather than the browns. The browns are very predatory in here. You put a big plug of some sort, like a cutter right. 110 jerk bait, you start jerking that along, you're gonna catch browns by the ton. You get the jigs out, keep them tight to the bottom, you'll catch rainbows. Right on.
Fishful Thinker Television is brought to you by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Evan Rood, spend more time on the water. St. Croix Rod, best rods on earth. All right, there we go, guys. That's number three on the little jig. Now, you tie a pretty good jig, bud. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> you tie a pretty good hair jig. And then, but we're going to see if this will hold up, guys, because if, if we can come here and selectively target the rainbows, it, it's, it's a good lesson in the differences. Between, oh, got a brown, though. <laughs> I was hoping that we could put on a good lesson in the differences between how the rainbows feed and the browns feed. Now, some of these browns are going to be straight post spawners. Oh, yeah. And uh, how about that thing? Hey, Troy, where, where's your jig, bud? It's, Wasn't uh, there a jig in that frame somewhere? <laughs> okay, <laughs> look at that, choked. guys. All right, now there's Fish. another beauty. Look at the color on these, guys. If, if you want to know why Colorado stocks a jillion brown trout, that's why. Look at that big kipe on the jaw, Troy, yeah, and all the beautiful belly. butter, oh butter goodness. belly. That's that's a good looking brown trout, guys. <laughs> Pretty fish. Look at that thing. Here you go, buddy. Get on out of here. So when Parks Wildlife comes here and they spawn, what they're doing is they're catching males and females both. They'll they'll, they'll keep the females in a holding tank until they they get ripe and start dumping eggs. And when they do that, then they'll they'll uh, they'll fertilize those eggs with the milk from the males they also catch. Then those, those fertilized eggs then go to a hatchery, they'll, they'll hatch them into fry, and then move them out to feeding areas around the state uh, and fatten them up and put them in various lakes. So this lake is real, real important from that standpoint. But really for you as an angler, why it's important here at North Delaney is that there's a lot, a very high density of browns in here. Um, they do that to ensure that there's plenty for next year. So it's a lake that's basically catch and release. This is not a place you come to catch a bunch of harvest and research the, the limits yourself. But this is not a harvest lake so much as it's a place to come sport fish. Um, first time we've been here throwing strictly like hair jigs and stuff like that. We've always thrown big jerk baits first and stuff. Time I've been here. And first time you've ever been here. Well, you better catch <laughs> some more fish then. I better quit talking. You better catch some more fish. <laughs> but the interesting thing about this place is you can hunt, and this is a perfect place for a cast and blast trip. If you're coming to Colorado or you're a Colorado guy, you want to do a cast and blast trip during big game season, we are here during a Sabbath. Actually, elk season starts Monday or starts Saturday. But this is all, there's public property all around the Delaney's uh, and this whole region right here, maybe not all adjoining, but there's public property, there's state wildlife areas, there's national forest all around right here. Um, you can hunt on them, you can hunt antelope, you can hunt deer, you can hunt elk. Uh, we've seen bear poop literally right on the shore of this lake. <laughs> so, and you can hunt bears just pr pretty much anywhere in Colorado. And we've done so well here with jerk baits in the past, catching catching the big browns, you know, that it's just a lack of imagination, Troy, to come do the same thing again. <laughs> yeah. So as much as it's one of my favorite fisheries, we come here every year, but it's also one of the most important fisheries for Colorado Parks and Wildlife because of the brown trout issue that's in here. So, and the funny thing is it's, it's famous for its browns, but the rainbows and cut bows that are in here get huge because of all the browns that are in here. So uh, they eat all the eggs from all those browns. There he is. Get him? Yep. Oh, nice. All right, I reached down to grab another another rod, and then we are hooked up again. I'm going to take this opportunity to warm my fingers and let Troy go fight this one from way out there. What rod are you using? Uh, this is a seven foot medium light St. Croix Legend Elite. There you That's go. A nice That's a good one, Mr. <laughs> Coburn. <laughs> Yeah, Delaney Butte State Wildlife Area. I don't know why anybody would come fishing here. Did you get a big bobo? Yeah, it looks like a cut bow. Or, yeah, cut, but either way, not a brownie. Yep, yeah. sure enough. I suppose it's time for the net job. Yeah, and that's the whole thing, guys. With the jigs here today, we, we really want to demonstrate the differences in behavior of the fish cabors. You know, you get you get the browns, and they'll eat anything high in the water column that swims, and you get nice. these big old bobos Good in there. Nice yeah, job. there's a nice one there, bud. That there is a go. pretty one, buddy. Nice. That's a pretty one right there. Go ahead and put him back. Guys, man, that's a... Oh, hello. <laughs> That's why you come to the Delaney Complex, guys. It's like I said, it's famous for its browns by, you know, keying on the different feeding habits of the different fish. You can catch different kind of trout in the same lake at the yep. same time of year uh, doing totally different things. Rainbows, of course, spawn in the spring. The browns spawn in the fall. The rainbows eat the browns' eggs in the fall, and the browns eat the rainbows' eggs in the spring. Look at this. And, uh, yeah. spitting up. Yep, there you go. Brown there. eggs. Yep, that's it, guys. That's what he's eating. That's it, right there. And if you look at the color, I don't have a jig, but I have, I have one of these 
You got a, a, a little bit of the pastel in there, and this one's this one's been chewed on. You can yep. see it's already deflated, so he right. ate that one. But uh, that's the deal, guys. The, the rainbows eat the brown's eggs in the fall, and, the, and then the browns return the favor in the spring. Exactly. So. Fishful Thinker Television is brought to you by Camp Chef, the way to cook outdoors. Peterson Toyota and Toyota Trucks, moving forward. And Colorado Parks and Wildlife. North Park, Colorado's got all kinds of fishing opportunities, and we're always coming here for to fish the, the lakes themselves. We've filmed on both North Delaney, South Delaney. Uh, I have never personally fished East Delaney, but it's another lake similar to this right here in the complex. But understand also that there's some really good fly fishing in the creeks right here, uh, which are also part of the state wildlife area, not to mention duck hunting and other things like that. So the uh, here in North Park, you can fish down what, Michigan River, Michigan, Illinois, the Illinois, Illinois, Illinois River. River. Yeah, so there's other Real choices productive. here. You know, of course, you got Lake John right over the hill. That's mm -hmm. another place we've spent some time. Lake John's not far from here. It's a little bit bigger than this. Uh, traditionally, that's a fantastic rainbow fishery. Now, we're both throwing Nanophil because uh, Nanophil handles better than any line out there. It loves the cast, very light baits, and these jigs yeah. are, how much are these? These are an eighth, right, that you uh, tied? These are the heaviest ones, yeah. These are an eighth. I, I, I throw them as light as one thirty-second. And you and cannot it, cast one thirty second on straight fluorocarbon. No, um, you can't. Banana feel really right. is a huge advantage on that. Right. Yeah, banana feels. But the sensitivity is everything, especially right. when you're bombing it out right. there. And you got a bow in your line. You got or a anything big else. bow in your line because yeah. the wind's coming from the side. You want to get really cold? Come stand <laughs> um, here, waist deep in the lake, about <laughs> ten days before Thanksgiving. The flip side of that is you will experience some unbelievably fantastic fishing, and you'll have the whole place to yourself. Uh, yeah, you uh, because because everyone else here. is smart enough to not. <laughs> 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 but seriously, I mean, we have had some unbelievably productive fishing right here uh, on this lake when it's just before it ices in. Here we're kind of fishing. Oop, oop, oop! Do you see that? I just had one. Nope. You guys again? Come on. Saw that. Yeah. You might have stuck him a little bit that time though. Yeah. I've had two of them that actually went ahead and came back after that. Yep. I think one thing people think fish get, they feel the point, they don't want to bite anymore. But think about it, that fish eats crayfish for a living. Right. And that crayfish doesn't exactly go down without a fight, oh, I no. promise you. And oh, anyone that's even held a crayfish in your hand, even if he doesn't pinch you, He's sharp. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we joke about that all the time. I don't think a hook point bothers fish. I'm not entirely convinced they're nearly as, as sensitive to it even. Like, right. they don't even, it's more the pull that bothers well, them. Well, and, and another thing about missing fish like that is a lot of times when they're swiping at it, yeah. they won't give you a second chance because they're just trying to move it along. Right. If they're eating, they'll a come lot back of times and get they'll it. get it three or four times. Right. You get multiple chances. So, if then, I miss a fish, I'm going to drop my rod tip. Right, and let it Give fall it slack, back. Get it, get it back yeah. down there, and then be ready the next time you lift your rod tip because he may be there. He might be on it. Yep, I agree with that 100%. And you guys come here, a lot of guys will come here and troll. Um, you can troll during the summertime, which is excellent because it keeps the mosquitoes off because the boat's constantly moving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just got to troll a little faster than the mosquitoes can fly. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this area is famous for its summertime mosquitoes, but I got to think that the fishing here is spectacular in the summer if you can put up with the conditions. I know the weeds get really prevalent here in the summer, which is why the lake's so prolific in the first place, right. or why they grow so fast. Now, growing up in Washington State, which is where I cut my teeth on fly fishing, big there rivers there. Oh, uh, be a bobo, be a bobo. The Indians used to use those fish traps where sure. they make a funnel. Absolutely. And it funnels the, the yeah. fish right yep. in. And yep. And when you get fish that are running the bank, out. I'll go get the net and you just keep working on that, Mr. Coburn. Is, is he on your white jig? That's on the white. On the white yeah. jig. There you go. I'll come up here. And it is a rainbow. And it's a boba. So our our deal is holding up quite nice. I'll let you right. burn him out He's for a minute. Green. Yeah, we're in no hurry. You can let him run there around you go. a little bit. There we go. Well, that's a big fatty there, guys. The importance of this fishery cannot be overstated. Literally like a third of the crew for CPW's hatchery program is here at the same time when they come up and do it. They spend like a week here netting fish. It's cold, it's nasty. The work that they do is nasty. It's not any fun. It's smelly, it's freezing cold <laughs> and muddy, and they've been dealing with rain the last three straight days up here. 
But uh, it's very important to the state of Colorado that the brown trout be stocked wherever they can. They're more durable, they tolerate warm temperatures better, and anglers love them because they're ambitious feeders. <laughs> like I said they got the best attitude. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, it's a little guy. You foul hooked him. <laughs> there you go with the jig. It's awesome, dude. That is awesome. Did he come out? Yeah. I think he's hooked on the side. He might be. And the way the way he jumped on your uh, on your deal, and I am going to switch to white, by the way. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 net. What am I doing? I think he's going to be in quite that quick. No, he is in the mouth. He just went nuts Corner real quick. Mouth, maybe. maybe I can't see him, so I can't net him. There he goes. <laughs> Another big rainbow. Oh, I should have scooped him, but I know, I know better than to scoop him. <laughs> there you go. I'll get him unhooked. He's holding in. Another beautiful night. Oh, that's okay. Look at him go in the clear water. Fishful Thinker Television is brought to you by Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. St. Croix Rod, best rods on earth. Damp Chef, the way to cook outdoors. My most productive fishing has been wading here. Uh, you don't need a boat, but personal pontoons are popular here. Um, little little Coleman crawdads and things like that are popular here. My experience on windy days, I would oh. much rather be standing on, on the shore. On the shore, absolutely. Uh, I mean, because boat control becomes it consumes so much of your thought right. process that right. you focus less on the fishing. So. But how important in, in fly casting, spin casting, or any other kind of fishing, how important in your opinion is, in most cases, accuracy and line control? Oh, well, okay, I, let me tell you this. You can have the right fly in the wrong place and you'll never catch a fish. That's you right. Have, if you have the wrong fly in the right place, you'll at least sometimes there catch you go. a fish. Summed it up right there. And if you have good line control, it'll make, uh, right it'll make up for a lot of stuff. And yep. And, uh, and I've tried to tell people over the years, it's not about a magic lure in most cases. So yeah, I just got a nip too. A little pot of them there. Yeah. It's not so much about the magic lure in a lot of cases for, you know, it's really about how you throw it, where you work it and things like that, you know? And it's funny driving in here, we've seen antelope, we've seen deer, uh, I've seen moose. elk up here before, we saw moose here before, yep. You can fish the streams, you can fish the lake. You go, you've got relatively liberal harvest restrictions on, on uh, the other lakes versus here. So you can go, you know, you can come here and go fishing for trophies all day and then run down South Lane and pick off a couple of rainbows for dinner. Right. You know, you got options for sure. What you got going on there, Mr. Coburn? Oh, it's a... You got a big one? Bobo. Is it, is it another Bobo? Yeah. I honestly, I thought I was in the weeds right there. I lifted to get my jig out of the weeds and all of a sudden he felt the head And shake. I broke mine off, so. <laughs> that, was, that was the weirdest strike of the day. Well, that's okay. Weird strikes would build carry. That's a nice fish, dude. That is a nice fish. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm gonna stay off of him here. I, mean, he, I don't think he realizes he has a hook in his face. I'm just he's staying gonna, away from him here. Out here in a minute. There he goes. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Welcome to Delaney Buttes, Mr. Coven, for your first. Oh, oh that's oh, a beautiful that's a fish. fish. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Here he goes. It's right there. Oh, the nice, big old net. Nice, <laughs> nice. There you go. Oh, oh that buddy, is that's a horse. Oh. We might have to get a still shot of that one, guys. It seems like uh, anytime you get around browns and wind, that's always a good thing. We yep. always, right? You gravitate to wind, don't you? Oh yeah. Fish, 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 fish! All right, right on the dock. <laughs> oh, <it's> a, <laughs> you can go to the back. I'll net you. That's awesome. That's awesome. I want to run the boat. Let him burn for a minute. Okay. Right there, nice brownie, right there you go. And I'm gonna let you deal with him. I'm gonna go get the boat out of the shallow dot. Look right. at the colors on that fish. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Nice. <laughs> High five. <laughs> All right. 
That's a nice oh. one. Uh, that's a, that's <laughs> look how much water he just moved. Look how much water he's moving. Yeah, that's a good size rainbow, guys. I think targeting rainbows with jigs is a good idea. <laughs> oh, get him, get him, get him. There we go. That was a deep net job there. <laughs> I think uh, North Delaney might be known for its browns, but that's a good sized bobo right there. Oh, Mr. Coburn, would you like a still photo of that one? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, uh, you hold the net. Got it. And I'll go grab a camera. And guys, we recommend if you're gonna take stills, that you do this. You keep the fish in the water, in the net. I can get a camera out, Troy can get his act together, we'll get the boat, and that way we don't hurt the fish. So that's what we're gonna do. One more. Okay. okay. There you go, guys. That's how you do it. Hey, Troy. Nice catch. Thanks. Seems like as good a spot as any to end the show, guys. Come sit next to me, Mr. Coburn. Delaney Buttes, important, important, important fishery. Uh, the brown trout, what it's famous for, it's a brood lake, but it's not the only thing you can come here and fish for anywhere in this Delaney uh, State Wildlife Area complex. Big rainbows, big browns, uh, beautiful place to fish. Using the jigs to target the rainbows it, worked out pretty good. It, it worked out real Thanks well. for bringing those custom jigs yeah. and ties. This guy, Troy Coburn, always fun to have in the boat. One of the best things we've had on Fishful Thinker over the years, and uh, one of our favorite guys. This is about your eighth or something show with us. So yeah, I think we're. It's always we're good fun. Digits. If you guys want to join the conversation on uh, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, we'd appreciate that. But most importantly, we hope you'll tune in, and we'll see you next week. Time now for today's best catch, brought to you by Berkeley. <laughs> That's why we come to Delaney, guys, right there. That didn't take us very long at all. That fish bit twice, too. That's why you come to the Delaney State Wildlife Area right there, guys. And we're going to be real quick about putting that one back. Look at that. Look how clear the water is. Berkeley. Catch more fish. It's never been that important. There's one right there. Oh, <laughs> golly. Uh, Do damage. Oh, there he was. So we were, uh, blah, 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 blah. What was I going to talk about? Oh, I don't know where I'm going with that. Buddy, did you feel any love in that comment, Troy? Tons. You did? I yeah. missed that little detail. If he didn't like it, he wouldn't talk, call you stupid. Oh, well, now I feel a lot better because he always calls me stupid. Yeah, that means he loves you. And I'd say you can cut for a bit, Tim.